Hello boys and girls, um, welcome to our read aloud of Scaredy Squirrel at Night. Um, by now you should have probably already written down kind of your prediction of what you think is going to happen in this story. Um, if you haven't done that yet, uh, make sure you pause um, this read aloud for just a quick second, go back to the last page uh, for writing today, and just fill out a prediction on what you think is going to happen in this story. Um, it's definitely important to do that before you read the story because then we're going to be seeing um, if our prediction is true or if we were not true with our prediction um, as we read the story. So if you haven't done that yet, just take a second to pause the video, go back, write down your prediction, and then you can watch the read aloud. Okay, so I'm going to start by reading our story for today. So again, it is Scaredy Squirrel at Night by Melanie Watt. Warning, Scaredy Squirrel insists that everyone check under their beds before reading this book. Scaredy Squirrel never sleeps. He'd rather stay awake than risk having a bad dream in the middle of the night. A few creatures Scaredy Squirrel is afraid could appear in a bad dream. Ghosts, unicorns, dragons, fairies, vampire bats, polka dot monsters. So he's very determined to stay awake by keeping busy all through the night. Scaredy's nighttime to-do list. 1. Count stars. Should keep you occupied for a while. 2. Play cymbals. Loud, annoying noise is sure to keep you wide awake. And 3. Take up scrapbooking. Keeps you well organized and productive. So night after night, after night, after night, Scaredy avoids sleeping. But, side effects of sleepness, sleepless nights may include energy loss, moodiness, poor ref reflexes, forgetfulness, drowsiness, hallucinations, confusion, and exhaustion. That's when Scaredy Squirrel comes face to face with something very alarming. Horoscopes, find out what the stars predict for you. Aries, you can climb mountains. Taurus, take the bull by the horns. Gemini, two heads are always better than one. Cancer, claw your way to success. Leo, you're the, kind, you're the king of the jungle. Virgo, spread your wings and fly. Libra, this is what I'm assuming Scaredy Squirrel is. Libra, get ready. At midnight, all your dreams will come true. Scorpio, look out or you'll be stung. Sagittarius, aim for your goals. Capricorn, you're halfway there. Aquarius, go with the flow. And Pisces, there are plenty of fish in the sea. Oh boy, so Scaredy Squirrel, it looks like his horoscope is telling him that uh, at midnight all of his dreams will come true. Hmm. There's not a minute to lose. It's time to prepare for the worst. Hey, look, he's got a watch on. It's showing the time, 11.43. Nice, so that means seven minutes until 12 o'clock, which is also midnight little bit of our math lesson kind of taking effect into this story. A few things Scaredy Squirrel needs to face his bad dreams. Spotlight, cupcakes, banana peels, fire extinguisher, safety cones, fan, teddy bear for a decoy, a sign, do not disturb, pillow and blanket, and molasses. Bad dream action plan. Dragons are a huge fire hazard, to, so keep an extinguisher in the tree. Not a fan of ghosts? Start the breeze and they'll blow away. Place sign upside down so bats can read it. 
Molasses will slow down a unicorn in a sticky situation. I am here. Creatures think I am sleeping here. Fairies have a sweet tooth. Distract them with cupcakes. Polka dot monsters can't spot banana peels. Watch them slip and slide. Important. These creatures avoid light. Hide behind spotlight, switch it on at midnight, and creatures will disappear. Remember, if all else fails, play dead until sunrise. So Scary Squirrel gets into position. As he counts down to midnight, his bad dreams seem to come true, one by one. But when he turns on the spotlight, hungry intruders appear. This was not part of the plan. Scaredy Squirrel panics. He steps in the molasses. He stumbles over a safety cone. He slips and slides on a banana peel. He lands on a pillow. And... Plays dead. And falls asleep. One hour later... Two hours later, eight hours later, Scaredy Squirrel finally wakes up. Benefits of a good night's sleep may include energy gain, happiness, better reflexes, sharper memory, good health, peacefulness, cleverness, and clear thinking. Scaredy Squirrel forgets all about his bad dreams. He realizes they were just in his imagination and nothing horrible happened in the night. A good sleep has inspired him to get rid of a few things and replace his horoscope with something much more trustworthy. A fortune cookie. Sweet dreams. P.S. As for the fire extinguisher, well, a squirrel can never be too careful. Fireflies. The end. So I'm hoping that as you read that story, you were kind of seeing if your prediction was true or not. If your prediction was true and you predicted what would happen in this story, give yourselves two thumbs up. And if your prediction wasn't, that's okay. You still made a prediction, and that's the point of predictions, is sometimes we learn that our predictions are true, sometimes our predictions um, aren't true, and sometimes we can even use those untrue predictions to write our own story. So you might be able to write a Scaredy Squirrel story um, that kind of goes along with the prediction that you made for this story. Um, so if your prediction was wrong, that's okay. Um, just be happy that you made a prediction and maybe again you have some really good ideas for another scaredy squirrel story um so thank you so much for for taking the time to listen to the read aloud of scaredy squirrel at night thank you so much for making your predictions and writing down your predictions for the story i uh, can't wait to read what some of you guys were thinking before you read the story and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this story as well i know scaredy squirrel is kind of a fun uh read so hopefully you enjoyed this scaredy squirrel book as well Okay, everybody, thank you so much. Good job on your writing today. Bye.